Hey guys, this is Sina from Cashew Academy. I posted this reel on my Instagram some time ago and you guys loved it. Today, I decided to create an in-depth tutorial on how to create this animation. It is not that hard to create and it only takes a few minutes. So let's get started. Hey guys, so today we are going to be creating this logo animation. Um, we will be using a few simple techniques, so let's get this thing started. The first thing would be to create a new composition. You can do that by clicking Ctrl N, and then we are going to create a new solid layer that would be white. I am going to then import my logo and resize it. I would like to remove the black part of the logo, so I'm just going to apply this effect, and then I'm going to take this color and I would like to just have this little outline that you see here, and that will be my base. The next thing would be to create the black shape that will be behind the file that we just imported. So that's very important because we'll be adding some cool effects that will fill in the logo. So the next thing would be to create another shape. So I'll be creating this little ellipse. I am going to convert the path to Bezier path like this and now I'll add keyframes for the path. So move this keyframe over here and then make it start like this. You just adjust the shape so you can see the black shape that I just created. And now over here, I'm going to change the shape again as if it fills the logo like this. I'm going to easy ease the keyframes and then I'm just going to add a keyframe for the opacity and make it start at zero and then a couple of frames in, I'm going to make it 100. Okay, so this is how the animation looks. And now I want to bring it just above the black shape that we created at the start. So this is how the animation looks. And we have this very cool reveal. Now let's create another shape. So I'm just going to create a random shape like this. And then we are going to change the color and add some effects later. But just start by creating the shape. Then change the color. Mine will be pink. And then here I will just animate the path again. So I'll make it start here. And by a bit before the first second mark, I'm just going to change the shape like this. If you're creating the same logo animation, feel free to create different shapes. It looks very cool. Perfect. So I think this looks good. I'm just going to bring it below the base of the logo that I have. Now I'm going to offset the keyframes and I'm going to add an effect, the turbulent displace effect, and then I'm going to change the amount to uh, 55 and the size to 60, like this. Okay, so the animation looks good so far. Now I'm going to just duplicate this layer. I'm going to flip it by changing the scale and I'm going to move it and I'll adjust the keyframes like this. And then I'll change the color to yellow and I'm going to offset it. Okay. And this is how it looks now. Okay. It looks pretty cool. Now I'm going to create one final shape. I'm going to add the turbulent displace again. I'm going to change the size to 23. F feel free to play around with these settings. Next, I am going to animate the path. Make it start here. And then by this time, make it move like this okay awesome and now i'm going to add a keyframe for the size as well here and then by this time just change the size based on what you want to achieve but like for this logo review i think this looks good now i'm going to change the color and this time i'm going to create a mask so i'll duplicate my base layer um, and then I'm going to alphamate it and then I'm going to change the color uh, of the color key to be white. So my mask is where the black color is. Now I'm going to duplicate the first layer that I created, the black layer, and I am going to move it here. And this last shape, I'm going to move it here. So that way we have a cool loop. Okay. And the final thing we're going to do would be to add some shapes. So I'm just going to draw a circle like this. I will change the color of the stroke 
I will adjust the width of the stroke and I will remove the fill like this and I'm going to adjust the, the stroke width uh, a bit um, like this and now I am going to add the trim pad effect so add keyframes for the end make it start at zero and make it end at 100 repeat the same process with the start keyframes and now we're just going to create another shape like this because we want to add a bit more depth to it Uh, we're going to alpha invert it and make it start here and by this time over here we want to cut it and this shape is ready now we're going to add another shape so that'll be just one line so i'm just going to draw a line i'm going to change the stroke width and the color i'm going to make it pink and i will adjust this line a little bit yes like this And then I'm going to repeat the same process. I'll add the trim pad effect. I'm going to animate the start and the end, and I'm going to add keyframes. All right, so this is how it looks so far. I think it looks good, but I will just adjust the keyframes a bit. Great, so I will now repeat the same process, but I'm just going to add another line over here, just a little curve, but essentially I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm just adjusting the pad then adding the trim pad effect and copy and pasting the keyframes that I have for the first line that I created. And we are ready. So this is the this is the logo animation, the logo reveal that we just created. Let me know if you like it in the comments below or if you have any questions. Thank you very much for your time and see you next week.